Well, with only 23 days until Christmas, we want to highlight Texas-made gift ideas. And we're starting with a charming city that has the luck of the Irish with it 24-7, Dublin, Texas. From helping put Dr. Pepper on the Lone Star mat to producing other tasty treats, it's the perfect place to holiday shop. And Lou Ann Schneider is here <laughs> <laughs> to tell us more. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. Thank you so okay. much, Susie. Uh, the, Dublin, Texas was the official bottling place. Bottler for, bottler for Dr. Pepper. Yes, Dublin Dr. Pepper was bottled there. And and now let me ask you, Okay. then when Dr. Pepper came to te uh, Dallas, did they change the formula? No, it still had Imperial Pure Cane Sugar and all of the other new products. It's still, we still have the bottling company and it's still got, it's got 11 new flavors. And they're fabulous. I mean, this is like <laughs> going back in time. Remember Delaware Punch and things like that? That's There's right. There's Cherry Limeade. We have the Dublin Vintage Cola. Texas Root Beer. Dublin Ginger Ale. Which I love. Oh yeah, it's great. This is great. Um, Black Cherry. Oh That's my, one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you a story. Okay. I was going from uh, Glen Rose to Fredericksburg. And on that road out by, you know, the Fossil Rim Farm, mm -hmm. there is an old filling station out there. And I mean old, you know. Sure. And you go in and it said Dublin Dr. Pepper. So I wheeled in there. This is about 15 years ago. I paid $26 for a six pack of Dublin of Dr. Dr. Pepper. Peppers thinking, oh, these are rare. You can't. <laughs> Can't find these anymore. Well, it's it's a little more like that now. And they are so very rare now, we'll but now they're totally <laughs> Dublin Bottling Works products. Now they've also started making some other products, and um, they have th these syrups that you could pour over ice cream if you need a little jolt of energy in the morning. Oh yeah. They have um, preserves and jellies, beef jerky, everything. They have beef using, jerky. Yeah, these are all jerky products that are made with the, the bottling flavors. Oh, how wonderful. Now here's one that you can't eat, but I was really surprised about this. It's soap. It's soap with the smell and don't lick it to see if it tastes like <laughs> any of this, but we have this soap. But um, I want to tell you about some other products. Yes. Speaking of soap, it's not soap on the rope, <laughs> or soap on a rope, but it's, it's ropes made by Callaway Ropes. And they're right on the outskirts of town, and they're a very famous rope company. Yes, rope I've seen them. Production company. And so um, I was really pleased that they were willing to let me borrow a few ropes to come show uh, today. And then if you go, um, there's a, a man in town, and it's called B&B &B Creations. His name is Bob Earl. And he and his wife have this little company. They're mesquite. not. It is mesquite, and it's uh, custom mesquite products. And these these are, are just some beautiful. of the, the beautiful things that he makes. Uh, so you know, give them a call. I think it will be on the website. And there's a bottle stopper down there. Right, a bottle stopper, ink pen. This is just a, a, the, the triple cross look. Just some beautiful things. And then over here we have Veldheisen cheese. So Veldheisen cheese is a little uh, farmstead cheese shop. On your way down 377, if you're coming to Dublin, just take a left about two miles out. You'll find Veldheisen cheese. They've named their cheese after Dublin and different uh, different little towns. Is it is it a, like a Swiss cheese or is it a... Oh, it's all kinds. Uh, we've got Dublin Karst, we've got Paragon, we've got Greens Creek, which are all little areas out in there. Around that. there. That's mm -hmm. what's so interesting because around the Dublin area, Stephenville, Heiko. Oh, yeah. Uh, all of those. And that's where I got a lot of these products. And then Comanche over there, you're by the, um, the Durham Nuts. Yes. The Durham, uh, Durham candies and, oh my gosh, and, uh, these are beautiful. If you, you know, they have a website and they can ship out. And of course, this is wonderful in the little Texas container. And talk about this wonderful uh, artist. Okay, um, this artist is Patty Jolene, and she runs a shop next door to the chamber office, and it's called the Irish Cowboy. Well, she is a fabulous artist, and back in the day, 20 years ago or so, she worked for Lisa Frank. She was the concept artist for Lisa Frank. So. This is what she's doing now. Some Wonderful. <laughs> and, um, and then we have just, she can do pretty much anything. This was an ornament that she made for me a couple of years ago. My husband is a volunteer fireman. She 
painted all the firemen on, on uh, stone. a little design on stone. That's great. So just a lot of fun things. And the chocolates. What about those wonderful chocolates? That are, These are out of Heiko, aren't they? They are out of Heiko. This is Wiseman House chocolates. We have several for you to taste. A big favorite is this uh, peppermint bark. Yes, chocolate. that looks wonderful. Little white chocolate with some dark chocolate. All right, Lots I'll tell fun. you what you have to do because Dublin is a source for all kinds of wonderful products. So mark your calendars for this Thursday, December 5, Shamrocks and Mistletoe Celebration, an annual lighted Christmas parade. It starts at 6 p.m. And you can get more details at thebroadcasttv.com and click on today's links. Okay, the holidays are here. If you want to look your best for the parties or even just because, then pay attention because to give you some fun tips that will make your holiday glamorous, we've got some great people coming up. Stay with us. We'll be back.